Hi everybody, I'm Barry Hardman. I'm an instructor at CCAR. The purpose of this video today is to show you how to put a clickable link in your Gmail signature. Uh, for instance, the IBS or whatever you want to do. So the first thing you need to do, the first thing I want to talk to you about is right here the requirement of it. If you look at 531.20, information about brokerage services, it says that you have to provide the IBS. And if you're going to put it on your website, um, if it's at 10 point font or less, you have to spell out the word Texas Real Estate Commission. If it's 12 point font or more, then you can just abbreviate by saying TREK. And it says here that you can uh, do this by putting in the body of an email or as an attachment an email. So we're going to put in the body of the email. Okay, so the way that you do this, now you know the rules and regulations, I'm going to show you how you do this. So the first thing you want to do is you open up your Gmail account, just like I have right here. Um, and you want to make sure that your completed IBS is in your G Drive, your Google Drive, where your documents are. So you put your cursor up here on the top right next to these nine little squares. You click on that. You come on down to your G Drive. You click on it. And you look to find it. And this is, I have it right there, so it's not a big deal. If you don't have it there, and you might not, that's fine. You could upload it very easily. All you have to do is click on New over here on the top right. Upload. File Upload. It comes up to an upload just like every other upload that you that you've used before you you navigate to where that file is you click on it and you click open and it uploads it to your g drive and it's in the process of uploading it right here once it's done it'll appear right over here okay upload complete and there it is right there but it uploaded the same thing a second time unprotected so there you go so now there it is now to make this document a clickable link the first thing you want to do is right click on it okay and you have a menu right here and you want to click on get link not share but get link and when you do that it comes up with a dialog box and what you want to do right here where it says copy link you want to click on that and then it says that the link is copied and that's good and then you click done now you have it on your clipboard. Now you want to go over to your Gmail account. You click on your Gmail account and then you want to move your cursor up here to the top right uh, where it says settings. That's the little gear or the cog. If you're from England, you click on the gear and then you, you want to click on see all settings right here. So you click on see all uh, settings Then you scroll down until you get to um, the, the, the email signature portion. You could have several email signatures and you could change it on the fly as you're sending emails. So the one we're going to do, I'm going to go ahead and delete this one. Uh, I'm going to make a new one based on what we just did, uh, the, the document I uploaded. So to create a new signature, you click on create new and I'm going to label this class IABS. That's the name of the signature. I'm going to click on create and then I'm going to type in whatever I want to type in for that signature block. Um, it's going to say um, C the track information about broker age services. I'm not the best typist in the world. I've been working with computers since 1982 and it still takes just two fingers to get all this done. So now we have what we want in here and I want to make this track information about brokerage services as a click of a link. Now remember, if I just if I abbreviate Texas Real Estate or the Real Estate Commission, um, I have to make this a 12 point font. Google doesn't do 12 or 10 point; they just have small, normal, large. So I'm going to make this large, okay? And I'm going to make this one large too. All right, all right. So I'm going to make this large, and then I'm going to highlight this. Remember, I've already copied that link. We did that a few about a minute ago, and it's sitting on my clipboard. It's just waiting for me to do something with it. So now I want to take this verbiage right here and I'm going to make that a clickable link. So I highlight what I want to make a clickable link. I click on the little link icon here and it says okay here's the words that I highlighted. What link am I using? So since I've already copied it to my clipboard all I have to do is put my cursor in this URL box. Hold down the control key if you're using a PC. If you're using an Apple I can't help you there. I think it's command and then V for insert. Okay. Um, you make sure that's the right uh, document and this is a Google document and that's perfect. So this word is going to go to this link. I click OK and there it is right there and now you want to save it. So you scroll down the rest of the way and you click on right here it says save changes. 
And there you go. Now you want to test it to make sure it's working. So the way you test it is you compose an email and you send an email to whoever you, I just sent it to myself and I'll just put the IBS test, IABS test. Don't have to make this test email elaborate. I can, don't even, can't even spell that one right. Test. And then I want to change. Remember I told you to change your email signature on fly. I want to change it to the one we just did. So I click on uh, class IEBS. There it is right there. And I can type in whatever phrase. And I made my font here uh, the large setting and this large setting so it all looks the same. If I'm going to put a regular signature on this, you know, uh, with uh, my name, phone number, uh, website and stuff like that that'll be below here that because that'll make the IBS look like it's part of the body of the email but anyhow we're just testing this link so now what we have to do is just hit send and then it pops in right here I click on it then I click on this link right here to make sure it, it works and there it is voila now you have a clickable link in your email I hope that really helps and I hope you look at all the other videos that we're doing for you thank you very much